Hi guys, I got another video here for you. This one is about recycling your used soft plastics. We usually just throw these things in the bottom of the boat, pile them up, and then eventually throw them away. Uh, for the last year or so, I've been saving them and recycling them. I've purchased a number of molds from Tackle Warehouse. They're about $35 each. And you just basically separate the baits into what colors you want, you mount them down in the microwave, you suck them into the injector, and inject them into the molds. It takes a few minutes, uh, open the mold, and then you've got uh, a new bait. So in this video, I'm just going to walk you through um, the basic steps, how you uh, start and how you finish with a new bait. This is somewhat dangerous. You've got very hot plastic at about 380 degrees so you're going to want to take some safety precautions. Gloves, definitely you want to cover all your skin, long sleeve, shirt, jeans, shoes, have your feet covered. Um, eye protection, definitely. If you do buy a mold, follow the manufacturer's instructions as to how to use the mold and the safety instructions as well. But I have a bag of just baits I've accumulated. Some of these are recycled baits that are being recycled for the third or fourth time. And I'm going through here just picking out some of the darker colors, the green pumpkins, the reds. Um, basically when you mix all the darker colors together you end up with tilapia, uh, green pumpkin tilapia color, which is pretty good for our area around here. Works great. Yeah, I've got some baits, we'll put them in the microwave for about two minutes. And that's not going to completely melt them, but you could take it out, stir it, mix up the colors, make sure you get like a uniform mixture. You don't have uh, camouflage colors unless you want that. And it gets... That's all the way melted there. This also has some uh, toxic fumes. You don't want to breathe these in. I got my garage door open, I got a fan running in there but uh, that's an infrared thermometer and I'm looking for 340 to 380 the, the uh, plastic starts melting at about 325 degrees so put that in there for just another 30 45 seconds get it out stir it again sitting there at 390, 384. So that's right. You don't want to get it over 400. If you get it too hot, it'll catch on fire. It'll start smoking. It'll just be a giant mess. It'll fill your garage with smoke. It's, it's, you don't want to do it. Um, it'll, it'll be a mess to clean up and it's going to stink up the place pretty bad. But yeah, suck it in there into your injector push down gently you don't want to push a lot of pressure against it because you don't want the hot plastic to come shooting back out at you after you take the injector off and um, then what I do is uh, put the extra stuff back into the Pyrex container and I'll put this off to the side pop the cap off and let it cool just so the o-ring doesn't prematurely wear out by having 380 degree plastic on it for more more than it needs we'll let that cool for a little bit and then get ready to open these molds up so I'll open up this is the three and a half inch swim bait kind of just see what this looks like here Kind of see how that came out. And then there's three swim baits.
Hi everybody, thanks for watching and thank you to the 48 subscribers and the over 2700 views that my channel has received in the last few weeks. If you haven't subscribed and you would like to subscribe, please click the button down in the lower right hand corner and you'll receive my videos when they come out and updates about my fishing, hiking, and camping trips. Thanks for watching.